Um, the song lyric is from Adventure Time and Bimo sings it and she says, you and I will always be back then. <sighs> and it reminds me of my aunt who I lost to cancer two years ago. It's from a cartoon that I grew up with and I just, I feel so much and it, it's a stupid little song but I, I just love it. And it really spoke to me because around the time she died, I heard it again. I was actually re-watching the show and it just reminds me of her like we're always going to be back then. <laughs> She was amazing. She was such a presence in her life. She made impact on everyone. She was an amazing person. And my family has never been the same without her. And I feel her with me every day. And that song just really, it means a lot to me. It does. There is a song off of the first Phoebe Bridgers album called Would You Rather? And I know it's a song about her little brother and it always makes me think of my little brother. So the lyric is, we have the same face. I laid awake as someone shoved you up against a wall. Quarantined in a bad dream. He's half the man and you're twice as tall. So, I have like the same face as my little brother. He's three years younger than me, but um, I've had people tell us we look like twins before and he had a really rough time. He got fully pretty bad and um, I always felt bad that like I wasn't able to protect him all the time but we're really close now and um, yeah that lyric always gets always gets me it would be uh, Frank Ocean lenses when he says I feel that smiles on me I think about that specifically to someone because I always feel like when I'm talking or saying something like he's just staring at me and so it makes me like really think about him well, wait, when you're talking to this one person, it feels like he's yeah, just... Yeah, because he'll just be like staring at me, admiring me, or like I could be going and getting food, and I'll turn around and I realize like he's staring at me, and I'm like, oh wow, he like really doesn't take his eyes off me. And like, I'll turn around and he's smiling. And so I'm like, wow, I can really feel his smiles on me, like when I'm out there doing something. And this is someone you're with right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Phoebe Bridgers, in her song, I See You, um, has this lyric, um, I'm too close, I can see the brush strokes. And it just reminds me of this relationship where I kind of like made up who this person was and when I really got to know them, they were like nothing like that. And it just like reminds me to like take time getting to know people and like not trust what's on the outside because a person can just be so different on the inside. There's this song by Carol King called You've Got a Friend. She's like, you just call up my name and you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you again. That's like my friend Alex to me. One time I got stood up on a date and I gave her like my movie tickets and she realized it was because I got stood up. So she like basically was like, we're gonna go to this movie. And she put on a really nice dress and like wore a bunch of makeup and bought me dinner. And like she took me out to that movie that like my date stood me up on. And so she's like always been a good friend of me, so. Um, one lyric that I was thinking of is from MXM tune song Prom Dress. And it's like, I'm, I'm sitting here crying in my prom dress. I'd be the pr prom queen if crying was a contest. And it reminds me of this experience I had when I was a freshman in high school. And this guy asked me to be his homecoming date. and. The entire time I was there, he was just hanging out with another girl, and it like made me really sad. And like I went home and I cried, and he like posted that he was hanging out with her after the dance, and that was like a core memory. <laughs> so. um, the lyric is, "They sprinkled moon dust in your hair and golden starlight in your eyes of blue," and it's from the song "Close to You," and it makes me think of my dad. <laughs> I saw this baby picture of him when I was younger where he had like blonde hair and blue eyes and it just, I, I knew him as an adult obviously so like when he was in like his more stressed part of his life but that lyric always made me imagine what he was like as a child because his parents always say he was like super vibrant and lively so I don't know it just, it makes me think of who he was before I knew him and it makes me really happy. Um, I think it's, oh child, in this world, strange how we forget the things that made us first smile. And it always makes me think of my grandmother um, because the whole song, um, it's called For Jasmine by Boa and it's just about like this woman talking about like her love for her child and my, I was raised by my grandmother and then when I was like 10, my grandma 
got like diagnosed with, like really severe dementia. So then from like when I was like a teenager, like a lot of my like well I still am a teenager, but like just a lot of that kind of became like I was caring like for her. And I think that like switch, I felt like it was like what she was to me and what I kind of like became for her. And I'm sad. <laughs> um Sleep Apnea by the Beach Fossils. The lyric is um Sometimes I no longer know what it means to care about the things you want to do. Everybody's living or they're dead and I'm still in my bed and I don't have a clue. Who does it remind you of? Myself. <laughs> I've had moments in life where... It's been so... I don't know like how, how to explain that. Everyone has low points in their life. And um, sometimes it feels like no matter who you talk to, Maybe they don't get it, but that song, for some reason, it just feels like it grasps, grasps, grasps the feeling correctly of just being so depressed and not wanting to move and having no motivation um, and watching everyone around you kind of move up in life when you're in your 20s and things like that. So I think that's why I kind of really, that, that lyric touches me a lot. I have to do Kate Bush's Running Up the Hill. Um, and she says um, she wishes that she could change bodies with the other person and to feel their pain and take the pain away from them. That would probably be something that reminds me of someone. Who does it remind you of? Um, I have a lot of uh, transsexual friends that I wonder what it's like to be in their body and you know to have them not be in pain in their own body. And if only I could, I make a deal with God and I get him to swap our places. I'll be running up that road. I'll be running up that hill. I'll be running up that building. Say if it I only could have. I watch the moon. Let it run my mood. Can't stop thinking of you. Yeah. Who does it remind you of? This. French boy that I was in love with over the summer. But I definitely feel like my soulmate is on the other side of the world right now. He's, um, oh God. <laughs> He's, um, like a very safe person and he kind of just feels like nighttime in like a good way. Um, so whenever I hear that song, I think it's like the feelings that I have for him and how safe he makes me feel. Yeah. Uh, can you, what's a song lyric that reminds you of someone, like a specific someone? Baby. I'm gonna leave you. You know that song? Mind I'm you. gonna leave you in the summertime. Wait, who does it remind you of? I'm me leaving my bitch in the summertime. Uh, I Want You Around by Snow Allegra. Who does it remind you of? Who? Yeah. Um, this person that I should not like that uh, is a total boy. But I, you know what? I do like him. I'm guarded, so I shouldn't like him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But anyway, that song really hits in a way that hits the soul deep in here. I think the song um, You Are My Sunshine, which is like a really old classic song, um, that reminds me of my mom. She used to sing that a lot to me a lot when I was younger. And I've been thinking about her a lot recently. I just moved to, to New York like two weeks ago for school. It's a really simple lyric. I used to mess it up all the time when I was three. I used to sing it a lot as a kid, but I, it's always been very dear to my heart. So as my mom, yeah. Have you told her that, that it reminds you of her? No, I should. I should. I should text her after this. Yeah. Bruce Springsteen, any song, Down by the River, Born to Run, any of his songs, a whole hunk of my life and a whole particular person. So who does who it? Is it? Oh, happens to be her father. I can never remember lyrics, but it's, it always has to do with a yearning, a love and a yearning, and sort of doing everything against society and culture and just loving the one that you're with, literally, apart from the rest of the world. So are you, are you still with him? The you're oh, no. No, I'm not, actually. No. It's just 
that one of us wanted to have children and one of us didn't and that's why I'm sitting next to his but not mine we didn't separate because we didn't love each other anymore that's the difference between us and a lot of divorces or separations we loved each other we had different things we wanted to do so um, after he went off and made babies um, we opened up a business together and we built restaurants and we built restaurants for the last 25 years together we both ran the same company so we saw each other and talked to each other day and night all the time and then when he had these children although I hate children hate children I fell in love with his children one at a time unexpectedly had no idea why or how now they are both my goddaughters you know when you talk about modern family on television and everything like that and everybody has you know two mothers and 14 whatevers we have our own strangely constructed family mm -hmm. but I'm not in his life in any competitive way I I do not sleep with him I do not want him I do not want his daughters I just sort of slid in in a way where we never we never knew that there was going to be a slot for such a person and I never knew I would want to be in that slot but there is a slot and somehow I fit into it and here we are and I have to tell you that it is 50 years later okay how do you like that <laughs> Well, we didn't talk politics, yeah, so that was, <laughs> <laughs> politics are like really boring compared to what I just gave you. Okay, well, thank you so much. It I was a pleasure. It yeah. really was a pleasure. I really appreciate it. Hey, everyone. For those of you who are new, my name is Thoraya, and I'm the girl behind the camera. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I have a new episode up. And follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting more on there. As always, thank you guys for everything. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.